In this chapter of practical geometry, we are going to learn how to construct parallel lines, perpendicular lines and how different types of triangles and angles can be constructed using a compass, pencil and protractor. First of all, let us understand how to draw parallel lines. Now, when we have to draw parallel lines, the procedure is very simple. All you have to do is take a line, let us say the line is L, you are going to make use of a scale to draw the line. Let us assume that this is our line L and we want to draw a line parallel to this. So, where do you want the line parallel at what distance that we can specify? Let us say if this line is L, we want a line parallel to this passing through a point A. So, we are going to indicate this point A here. This is not on the line L, it is somewhere else. Then we can join this point A to any random point on the line L. So, we can take any point. Let us say here we are taking a random point B. This point B could have been anywhere on the line. Next step will be we are going to join these two lines. The points A and B are going to be joined here. So, what happens is you are going to get a line segment and this line segment will start from A and end with B or you can say starts with B and ends with A. Now, you have to take the compass, taking any radius, keep the compass at point B and you will take an arc and draw this arc here. This can be with any radius. So, you will take the compass, put the compass point here, extend the pencil outwards, taking any radius you are drawing this arc. Now, without changing the radius, you are going to draw the same arc from A without changing the radius. Whatever radius we have taken here, the same radius we are going to take from A and we are going to draw the arc. Then we have to find out this arc length. How do you find the arc length? We will open the compass in such a manner that the compass point is touching at this point here and the pencil point is touching at this point here. So, what happens? You are going to get the arc length. The same arc length I am going to cut out here. So, I am going to take a point here and I am going to take the same arc length and cut it out here. So, whatever arc is here, the same arc length we have taken here. So, you get a point here that is the point of intersection and then we are going to join these two points and extend it. So, we will keep the scale here and we are going to join these two points. And what happens is that now the line that you are going to get M will be parallel to L. The, for the simple reason that we have taken angles equal here and these type of angles are called alternate angles. And we know that if alternate angles are equal, then we can say that the lines are parallel. So, these are alternate angles. So, once we know that alternate angles are equal, let us say 1 and 2 then the lines L and M will be parallel. So, to draw parallel lines, the construction is very simple. We have taken a line L, we have taken any random point B, taken any random point A, we have joined A to B, we have drawn with an arc with any radius here, using the same radius you are drawing the arc from A, then we are finding out the arc length, the same length we are cutting here and we are joining this point to A and extending it on both sides. So, we get this line M parallel to the line L. So, this procedure can be used for drawing of parallel lines.